this topic is auricular lung fracture, especially for uh, simple fixation using a tension band wiring and uh, complex cases, auricular fracture dislocation case. No see why. So this uh, topic, learning outcomes, on uh, the treatment strategy of auricular fracture. Wow. Biomechanical theory of tension band. Tension band is very easy, but uh, some knock and the pitfalls. And I introduce you. And last, uh, auricular fracture case series. One, the treatment strategy of auricular fracture. Uh, characteristics and treatment principles of auricular fracture. Uh, basically, intra-articular fracture joint depression. So, anatomical reduction of joint surface. Uh, thank you. And bone grafting sometimes used. So, iliac bone, the substitute. So, it depends on the cases. And uh, failure of elbow joint extension mechanism. So, Interfragmentary compression you need, rigid internal fixation, absolute stability is need. And proximal radius, elbow ligament injury, so com combined. So accurate preoperative evaluation, meticulous preoperative planning is uh, need. So determine the fixation method based on the precise understanding of the patient's condition. So I show you the case. So what is the problem in these cases? Uh, so, not so oh, complex, so simple and so. So, categorize is uh, this fracture is a bending type, bending. Bending means a uh, 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 is a bent, so like this, so or triceps tendon, biceps tendon, so traction. So, strong enough to withstand the bending force. So maybe, as you can see, the this plate is not so good. Maybe, yes, not so good. Strong, not enough to withstand the bending force. So consider the bone defect, so like this, anterior defect, so packing or the, some additional screw and so uh, needed. So bending force is very uh, strong. Anatomical reduction, arena reposition, radial head, and so on. Next, what is the problem in this, this case? Sometimes, very common case. Aversion. Yeah, triceps uh, muscles uh, traction. So, this case, so simple. So, KYO and the circuit. So, you tension band wiring. Uh, as mentioned after, uh, I saw precise technique. Static compression osteosynthesis, not dynamic component, dependent on of good bone quality. Poor quality is not so good, so sometimes KYS loosening happen. Depend on exact technique, so I'll sh show you after. High rate of implant removal. And uh, another choice, plate and screw osteosynthesis, of course. Static compression osteosynthesis, stronger compression. Less dependent of bone quality. Yeah, poor bone quality is okay. Small uh, proximal fragment needs high proximal plate position. Yeah, it's uh, 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 so sometimes the triceps handling is uh, important. Sometimes so a little, uh, not fit. Fit is not so good. Tension band wiring and the plate. Next, what is the problem? This is a protrusion and a shear type, like this. So combined case, combined. We considered about the main mechanism, so important. So plate and scoliosis synthesis is basically used. Yeah, coronoid process is key fragment, as mentioned before uh, topic. Think about the ligamentous injury and use of additional plate and screws, so important. Uh, this case, uh, headless compression screw fixing coronoid uh, process and plate fixing auricular process. And independent lug screw uh, 
uh, reconstructing lateral wall and proximal radial adrenal joint. And so another point is uh, anatomical is, is uh, very important. So or uh, proximal adrenal shape. So uh, valve angle and proximal adrenal diaphysis angle PUDA and hook angle. So anatomical uh, plate is like uh, uh, this precise uh, calculate. So we uh, can uh, we can manage this this point. Next, biomechanical me theory of tension band. So it's uh, our course. This is our, our course. A, a little uh, simple uh, theory. Uh, tension force and the compression force. So uh, put on the tension side and captures tension and convert it to the compression. So uh, one is okay, but uh, uh, two is uh, not good. So uh, extensive force is uh, wide widening. Tension band orthogonal model like this. So triceps tendon, uh, so the extensor side. So or the tension side, this used the K wire and the tension band wiring. So convert to the compression, like this. So requirement of tension band wiring, fixation material can withstand tension. Next, bone is uh, resistant to compressive forces. And contralateral bone cortical support is maintained. So it, it, it's very important. Posterior approach, uh, necessity is K wire and soft wire only. Very simple. Reduction, making bone tunnel, setting soft wire. AO recommend uh, uh, two circle, so at the same time, binding. Like this. Cut obliquely and sharply. Uh, penetrates the opposite side and cut it back a little. Pass soft wire under the triceps tendon. Tightening of soft wire, not a single roll. So, so at the same time, the uh, balance is very important. Grab the base of binding. And K wire is bent 180 degree and hammered in. So like a hairpin curve. Like this, the soft wire is applied largely under the triceps tendon. So, as mentioned, uh, this slide, very important, Schneider uh, mentioned this uh, 10 points. Uh, for young doctors, this point is so important, so check up the 10 points, so uh, no failure case, maybe. Tension band or knock and for pitfalls, never fail. So preparation item is very important. Wire bender parallel guy, uh, K wire soft wire, of course, wire bending plier, and flat nose plier, wire cutter, and wire twister. So very important. We uh, always prepared parallel insertion using a parallel guide. It's easy. And pull out the penetrated K wire. Uh, so, it's uh, 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 left side is uh, correct, right side is uh, incorrect. So, wire bending prior is very useful, like this. So, only cut uh, the bend so sharply and uh, keep it bend over 90 degrees. So, vertical groove, so or using a flat nose flyer like this, hairpin, like hairpin bending. So my, my neck, it's a, it's a little uh, hatena shape in Japanese, sorry. Question, question, question. So because of the resistance of the bone quality, so uh, it's a stack of the bone. It's very uh, useful, I think. Not through with the triceps tendon. Uh, passing near K wire. Uh, so I'll show you the, some cases, not so much time. And uh, this case is 69 uh, female, fall from stairs, uh, Jupiter 2A, Odoris Core 2, uh, 3, Mason 4, 
Mori Chinese classification is in Japan very famous, but uh, I'm sorry, so uh, not so much time to, I cannot introduce. So I chose the uh, universal posterior. Universal posterior and the global posterior, same, same meaning. So radial side and the void approach. Arna side and the Taylor and Sham approach. So orecranon lifting. So uh, it's a uh, orecranon lifting approach. And the uh, important thing is the Arna length and with coronoid medial after radial head reconstruction. Our strategy is at first Arna length after uh, radial head. LUCL intact, annual ligament is re repair. So, in this case is a uh, uh, radial head arthroplasty. Second stage, so uh, anterior approach, so additionally plating so from anterior, buttress plating. So, next uh, two times in this case. Stability is uh, more increased. Good. So, last uh, result. Implant removal already finished, so not so bad. Last case, uh, 70 years old female. Uh, this case is uh, from posteriorly and uh, larger side void, medial side uh, tail and sham. Extended caplan, uh, additionally. So uh, post-operative one years uh, X-ray shows. But uh, this case is uh, unfortunately hypertrophic ossification. So range of motion not so good. Uh, sorry, no time. Yeah, take home message. Yes, uh, orecranial fracture have some types. Biomechanical theory of tension band, so understanding. It's important to bend the key wire tips. The type of organ fracture dislocation and surgical approach is important. Thank you for your attention. I'm sorry too, too much. Okay.